So step three on onboarding for cash effects is how to fund your DAXI wallet with fiat currency. So first you'll need to work out uh, how much fiat currency you'd like to transfer into your wallet. And to do that, you need to know the value of the cash effects trading pack you'd like to purchase. So I've just popped a little picture on the left-hand side there. Now your trading packs start at $300 and will go all the way up to $100,000. Okay, so all your trading packs are in US dollar. So you'll need to convert that um, US dollar amount into your own currency. And just to be on the safe side, I would also like to add an extra 20 or $30, and that covers any blockchain fees or wallet fees or discrepancy in the currency exchange, exchange, et cetera. And for what I'm showing you today, we're just going to be showing you how to um, fund your wallet for a $300 cash effects trading pack. So from your uh, uh, verification page, we are going to push on My Portfolio, which is just up on the left-hand side there, and that will take you to the My Portfolio page in your Daxi wallet, and then you're going to click on Top Up Now. So when we're topping up our Daxi wallet, you actually have two options. You can do Poly, which is more of an instant transfer, or you can just do a normal bank transfer, and that takes a couple of days. So not every bank has the poly option, but you can go in and, and check it out and see whether your bank's available for that. So go ahead and just click on poly, and then you will be asked how much money you'd like to deposit. And I've just popped in $450 there. So to get the $300 cash effects trade pack, when I convert it into Aussie dollar, it's around about the $400 or $420 mark. And I've popped in some extra money, $20 or $30 there to cover any extra costs or fees, et cetera. And I just know then that I'm well and truly covered when I go to purchase my cash effects um, pack. So I've just popped in $450 and then you just push confirm. So it will pop up there and show you the banks that um, have Poly available and you can see whether your bank's there or not. And if it is, you just go ahead and select your bank and um, click continue and just follow the directions there to send money by Poly. But if you haven't, in my case, my bank's not available. So I'm just going to cancel that and it will actually pop up and ask you why you've chosen to cancel. And I'm just popping that my bank isn't available. And then I push submit. So that'll then just go to the history page and it will show you that that um, deposit that I was trying to do has failed. And I can then choose another way to pop the money in and that will be by bank transfer. And I will show you that on the next page. So I'm going to choose bank transfer to deposit my money in because my bank wasn't available for Polly. And as I said, your bank transfer can take a couple of days for your money to reach your wallet. So all you do is you click bank transfer and then you will be given a pop up here that tells you uh, the account name, the BSB destination, um, the account number and a reference code, that's your unique reference code, and um, a minimum deposit. So if you're popping money into Daxi, the minimum deposit you can pop in is $100, but we'll be popping in $450, so that will be okay. And the next you need to open up your bank account, and you pop in all the details in there for you to do the electronic transfer. So I have found that for my bank, um, when I was popping in the account name, it didn't actually, it says count one, proprietary limited. It didn't actually take the one. And I was able just to put count proprietary limited and my money was still able to get there. So if you have trouble popping in the one, just leave that off and it will still reach you. And make sure that you pop in, it's really, really important that you pop in your unique reference code there so that it knows to go to your um, Daxi account. So once you have 
input all your details into your bank, just check it, make sure everything is correct, and then um, say yes to your transfer. And then you can come in here when, when that's done and just close that little pop-up. Once your deposit has reached your uh, Daxi wallet, you'll actually receive an email letting you know that that's all been confirmed. As I said, with Polly, it's a lot quicker. Um, your bank transfer may take a couple of days, but once your money is in there, that's all done and it's all good to go. So now that we're waiting for your funds to arrive, just leave your Daxi wallet open on this page because we're going to move on and set up the two-factor authentication.